Hey guys, how's it going? This is Tim Shaves, and today I'm going through another shave um, going off of a 24 hour grill. Hope you guys are having a good 2020 so far. Um, I've been on and off, but uh, yeah, let's just get on shaving and um, get these stipples off. Alright, with the equipment, continuing on with the Gillette Slim Twist with Astra SP on its sixth use. Um, still pretty comfortable. Uh, there are a couple of rough spots, but uh, I'm gonna see how far I can go. Maybe until 8 use. Alright, as for the brush, you guys seen this a um, couple, sha couple shaves ago. This is the Sterling Bore brush. I believe this is a 24mm knot. Um, it's breaking in nicely. Uh, it still has some a good amount of backbone and some scrub to it, but um, just enough for me. Nothing too strong, nothing too weak. It's a good balance. As for the soap, this is going to be a new feature on the channel. Um, same brand, but different scent. Alright, this is Sterling Red Delicious. I believe this is an apple scent, as you can tell by the picture. Um, the scent is it, it's it's a bit feminine for me. Um, it reminds me of a of a like a hair shampoo smell, like a uh, like a Pantene shampoo or something. But I I get the whiff of apples, but I also get a bit uh, of the kind of a fragrance like scent. But yeah, let's let's use this today and see how it goes. All right, shall we get going? Gonna wet my face. I think for future shaves, I'm going to try to do less of the talking and just more of the shave. And um, I think my videos might be a bit too long, so I'm just going to try to keep it at that, see how it goes. Alright, brush is wet. I'm just gonna, I've been soaking for 5 minutes. I'm going to shake it off 3 times. 1, 2, 3, maybe 4. I think I had a little bit too much the last time. Alright, here we go. <clears throat> Let's get on loading a fresh puck. And as you guys know, Sterling is quite a performer. So I'm just gonna load it heavy. Um, maybe not the heaviest, but I'm just gonna keep it to maybe 30, 40 seconds. That's, that's, like, a, that's like a medium load for me. I think if it goes to a minute or more, that's a heavy load. All right, that looks good, and just a couple more seconds, and here we go. All right. That's plenty to use on the brush, and get all the excess lava. Put it on the face. Now, as I said before, sterling tub is a bit harder to wash off. So, it's going to take me a second. Uh, and I definitely want to wash off the tub right before the shave because I'm going to either forget or next time I use a tub it's going to be filled with all this lava um, kind of grind across the tub so I don't want that I'm making sure it's clean good to go every time I shave with it and I think it's almost there just let me get that little crack All right. Let me get the excess leather from the inside of the tub. Put it onto the face. All right, and we are good to go. All right. Rub the sun. Hmm. Yeah, the, the the scent is is around this a six or seven for me. It's a bit strong. I'll say it's not my favorite, but I think I can get used to it. It's got a bit more of a floral than I thought. I thought it would be more fruity, but you smell a bit more floral here. Alright, let's get on lathering. Here we go. that. Alright. Um, I 
I think I could splay right away and see. It's feeling pretty soft. Mm, it's a bit dry, but that's okay. I'm gonna add some more water here. Oop. Let me just work this brush really quick. for some reason. Even though I haven't added any water. I'm gonna add some bit more water here. Okay, a bit more water. Making sure the lather is not flying everywhere. Mm-hmm. Mm. It feels wet, but it looks dry. So I think it's one of those. Um, just gonna try to work it in a bit more and see if the visual improves. Definitely feels slick here, so at the same time it looks a bit wet. Um, or let's add a bit more water. A bit more water. Gonna work the brush a bit. Mm -hmm. Alright, that looks good. Let me just work with that. Alright, now I got plenty of lava built up, especially near the handle, so. It has gotten a bit slippery, but uh, I'm just rinse this off really quick, and we should be good to go. All right, yeah, sterling soaps are quite slippery, so definitely have to wash off the handles and see. Uh, she might drop this thing. <laughs> All right, let me clear off the lips in the bottom. And we should be good to go. All right. Let's get on shaving. All right. First pass through. 
with the Gillette Slimquist and Astra SP with the grain. Here we go. Just readjust this really quick. All right. Still feeling relatively smooth, nice. All right, to the next side. All right, I think the scent to this is a bit, hmm, it's a bit too strong for me. I, I, it's okay. But, uh, yeah, my nose is not taking it too well. Be careful. All right, that was a good first pass. Rinse up and go for a second. Yeah, the scent is nothing like it's not too strong, but I think it's just on the top side for me, a little more than I would like. I might pass this one on or see if someone else enjoys this. Alright, let's go for a second pass. Here we go. Plenty loaded on the brush. Bit of a wet looking lather. And that looks perfect. All right. It's not a dense lava compared to the first, but it'll work well. All right, here we go. Second pass through, cross the green. This combi uh, razor blade combination is working pretty well, I would say. Not bad at all. You do have to be careful of the overhang because most vintage Gillette have a pronounced overhang for the blade tabs definitely I could feel it on my ear sometimes <laughs> all right on the neck I'm making sure there's no pressure at all Alright, excellent second pass. Let me rinse up and go for a cleanup. 
Yeah, I think unfortunately, um, this soap, at least this scent, it smells too much of a fragrance for me. I definitely, I think I got, I got used to all the essential oils and these kind of fragrances are not sitting well with my nose. All right, go for a third pass. Here we go. Last pass through, clean up pass. Still plenty loaded on the brush. It's, it's a bit wet looking, but that's fine with me. Even though I used to prefer a, a slightly dry lather, uh, I don't mind a slightly wet lather as well. I think they both work well. It's just that slightly wet uh, lather, uh, it washes up more easily than slightly dry. So, do enjoy that. Alright, across the grain, clean up. Not bad at all. Yeah, and this blade is still feeling pretty comfortable. Well, it's it's still cutting relatively well. I think the the efficiency of the blade is definitely it's going down, but it still gives me a good DFS. Not bad. The double chin pass. Alright, I definitely buffed a bit more than usual, but I think with the older blade, um, I do need to buff some areas because it's not gonna cut very well. Right, let me rinse off and see how it went. Alright. That was a great shave, no irritation, just a smooth cutting action. Alright, that's definitely a DFS. Let's see. Pretty good. Uh, I could definitely go against the green, but that would cause some unnecessary irritation, so I'll leave it at that. Alright, let's go over the product really quick. Gillette Slim Twist with Astra SP on its 6 views. Might give it a couple more tries and see. Uh, it is getting duller. Uh, I could feel it. I mean, it's not cutting as well, so I might take it out after a while. As for the brush, the Sterling Boar brush, amazing brush. Um, yeah, it always works well for me. As for the soap, the Sterling Red Delicious. Um, it's a it's a great performing soap. As with uh, all of Sterling bases, however, the scent is a bit too strong for me to a bit fragrancy, so um, I'll probably um, think planning on passing this on. But um, yeah, but regardless, it was a great shave. I enjoyed it a lot. All right, um, yeah. Thank you guys for watching. This is Tim Shapes, and I'll see you guys next time. See ya.